This is the best tool belt I've ever worn, but it does have a few problems with it. So the way I wear my Diamondback Artisan is first, I do have this hammer holder attached. This sits in between my leg and in between a nail belt, and it has a cover the entire way, so your hammer isn't knocking and grazing along your leg. I thought this could be quite annoying, but I actually love this function, especially since the nail belt kind of sits away from the body. It's not like the hammer is a squeeze to get in. It is attached with these two Allen keys. I did lose one because I didn't connect it properly, so you can change where this goes. So starting with the mitre bags, this probably has the least amount of tools. I do keep my tape on my right hand side. I find that I like pulling my tape out with one hand and my pencil with the other one, so the tape's kept here, and I do have my speed square tacked away in this pouch behind it. Next to the speed square, I keep my framing nails next to them. That's a dedicated framing nail pouch. I do have another sleeve after that where my phone can tuck into, and that stays there quite securely, which is a big must for me. You can't really use your pockets when your nail belt's covering them. The last pocket in here is where I just keep a loose handful of clouts. And also at the bottom of this pouch here, we do have heaps of little slots to put drill bits in. I do keep a nail punch in there, but I can put any drill bits in there, spade bits, spare pencils. It's got a lot of storage in this one nail belt. It also does have another ring at the back, so if I want to, I can place my hammer in there. That's that's more of a comfortable place where I used to wear my hammer, but once I started going with the sleeve, it's just far more superior. The only exception I make of that is I might put my hammer behind my body if I'm holding a nail gun on that sleeve. So that sleeve can be used for a nail gun or carrying some tools as well. And you can just, you know, reconfigure your nail belt as you go to sit the job. On my left hand side, I do have the Eagle nail belt. I've got another tape holder to start the nail belt with, so I can choose which side my tape goes into. I do actually keep a chalk line in here, which is missing today. One of the apprentices must have taken it home with them for a sleepover, but I do have a tape on one side, chalk line in the other. We can see from there, I just have a bundle of tools in here. In this main pocket here, I've got my pincers, chisels, shifter, or whatever loose tools, I may be carrying around for that day. Close to the front, we can see I've got a little slot there for my knife, and I'm using a Pika pencil at the moment, which slots in that little pencil holder. This loose thing at the moment, I do have my DeWalt distance measure. I just sit in that light pocket there. In terms of the belt at the back, I've got nothing on it. It's just these two pockets, and these carry everything I need day to day. As you can see, this belt just clicks in, kind of like a seat belt. I am a fan of how easy it is to put on and take off your belt. It is super satisfying to do as well. The downside to this is right now I've got a t-shirt and this belt's tight. If I start work tomorrow morning, I've got a jumper on and a jacket on, my waistline's gonna be a lot bulgier. So I'm gonna have to adjust the strap to change the size to get it right every time. We've also got two O-ring hooks at the front and um, we've got two at the back as well. And that's where you connect your suspenders to. I'm not wearing suspenders on this right now. I don't own suspenders for this nail belt. And I don't think you need them using this Artisan diamond back. I've asked a lot of my coworkers, everyone that's picked this belt up has been shocked. This is easily the lightest belt I've ever worn. Even with all my tools and hardware in it, it just feels so light and just easy to walk around in. This belt does cost $695 Australian. It is quite expensive. But these days, if you want a high quality, good belt that's gonna last, that's basically the price that you're looking at paying. If you do want a diamond back nail belt though, I'm gonna help you out with getting one. The People's Tool sent me this one for free and they're giving everyone a discount that uses a code day five on the website. Let's sled just a little bit. I'm gonna go into some detail about what I don't like. Starters, I did mention with my stiletto, I've got this rubber handle. It does get a bit wider at the end. When I wanna put it straight into this hammer holder, with no effort, I'll just put it in there and it's gonna get stuck halfway. So it's about a two effort to put it in there and really push it down and send it home. Opposed to your typical just ring hammer holders, you just put it in there, drop it, and the gravity's gonna do the trick. But you did hear me say that this is one of my favorite parts of the nail belt, so I'm contradicting myself. These rings at the back of the nail belt, so these are designed to hold tools, hold your nail guns. Although it's great that they built these two carry tools, the tools just dangle way too low down in your leg. It is easy enough to bend around and just drop that tool in place. As you can see though, that's that's lower than my knee right now. Even with that there, the weight distribution in the stout is excellent. It doesn't feel like I'm carrying a heavy tool, but the problem is if I'm walking with that, that is gonna swing and hit my leg. It is hanging down low. I, I do love holding the tool up high where this tape holder is. You can see the problem with that though. Obviously with that tool there, I can't reach in and grab anything out of my nail belt. This O-ring is even better. It does hit your leg again as well. You might need to change where your hammer goes. Hold a gun at the front of you here, and that's ideal. What's great about this nail belt though, there's so many spots to carry tools that I used to never carry. What's even better is I can keep these tools on me, load up with nails, load up with hardware, and there's just room for everything. There's so much room. The downside with carrying more tools is that it means more weight. I need to double check what it's made out of, but I can't believe how light this really is. Especially going from a leather nail belt to this one, 
it is unbelievable. I've only had this for a couple weeks, so I can't really talk about how strong this belt is and if it is going to stand the test of time. But I can tell you, this belt is designed for carpenters.